Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So, of course, with yesterday's update, there is the brilliant encounter. And again, if you haven't watched my Should You Summon video, I highly recommend summoning on this banner unless you absolutely have everything in the game. This is as close to a free-to-play fateful as you can get since it guarantees a 4.5, that is, a unit that can be upgraded to 5-star. Um, you know, in the 10th pull. So we don't usually get these brilliant encounters, so make use of it if you can. I hope you get a 5-star, Dad. I hope so, too. Alright. And we start off with a common bronze door. Well, don't forget, we can get 5-stars or 4.5s out of those. However, we got the leader of the um, knights, Natori. What's behind door number 2? Hey, Denny! I still remember using him, actually, um, in the first iteration when I was just newly starting the game, and that was among my water team. Alright! Four-star pry. So, hey, at this point, after having this five-star version, I'll take the extra four shadow. Not too bad at all, actually. May? Again, in Japan, she does get a 5-star upgrade, so hey, one light is one light. Those beat a lot of the other 3-stars or 4-stars we can be getting, such as Yazuki. Not much use at this point. Another light for Seal? I'll take that. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Of course, what we really want are some golden doors, a lot more silver doors, and we certainly don't want any nooms out there. <sighs> Not too many things to be excited about, and we get his partner, Uo. Wow, we're nine pulls in, and we get, hey, again, AS Runa, one extra shadow. Not too bad, and we have the tenth and final door. Is there redemption? And... And we get Bertrand. <sighs> Oh well, sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.